name is Steve Vargo, and I run the local food hub educational farm at Maple Hill. Local food hub to me was an opportunity to create uh, a better life for farmers. Just being able to produce fantastic quality vegetables, and also I would have to say that that working with my coworkers on this farm uh, has, has been a absolutely smashing experience. I work with four wonderful new friends. They're from Bhutan. Um, they, they came uh, to Charlottesville from refugee camps in Nepal. Bhutanese, uh, Bhutanese the government is not good. So that we're coming here and then we're left refugee and refugee we're coming here. In our country less people, small country, less people less vehicles, all of, everything less, so that it's better. The, the skills and their, their method of work and the, their camaraderie have made a massive difference to this farm operation and also to me personally. Um, it's, it's been a really wonderful friendship and a wonderful, uh, wonderful boost in, in our productivity. My name is Emily Manley and I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for the local food hub. Charlottesville is a really special place to be thinking and working on food issues uh, because we have a really supportive community that understands food system issues on kind of a complex level and so um, it's a great place to, to get community support and involvement in these kind of projects. This time of year on the farm is, is always extremely busy. Uh, it, can, it can get out of hand really quickly. Things start to grow very fast when, uh, when the sun starts shining and the rains come. Uh, right now we're, we're harvesting lettuce today. That's the big, big job going on. Uh, we're picking about, let's say, 220 to 250 pounds of leaf lettuce that's going to be processed into a mesclun mix. We're going to harvest it, put it in baskets, wash it and sanitize it, dry it, and then we're going to pack it um, and get it ready for the wholesale market. Uh, so it'll be delivered to the warehouse on Monday morning early, and most likely it's going to be in the hands of the consumer by Tuesday, midday. The way our food system is set up today, it's really, really challenging to be a small family farmer and get your food into places like UVA Hospital or the public schools. There are a lot of regulations and red tape and barriers that as a small individual farmer it's just not even possible for you to break through but we in a, we buy food directly from our farmers and we aggregate it in our warehouse and then we deliver it to those large institutional buyers and so what that does is open up um, a large consistent market for farmers to sell their food and one that they weren't able to access before it also can save them time and money because instead of having to drive around town for an entire day making a $20 delivery here and a $50 delivery there. They can come to our warehouse and make one huge delivery of their food and then they can go back and do what they do best which is be out on the farm growing amazing food. <laughs>